Hi mate. Um, firstly, thanks for your time on this. Um, for your help. Because <clears throat> I'm really struggling here now. With this bloody thing. Um, welcome to Thailand. Um, I'm right next to the jungle here. Ah. Yep. So we've got insects crawling in throughout the place. Uh, this is then the my 2009 uh, 650 Ninja and I'll go through the history of it okay so one day I'm sat on the thing about a year and a half ago and I switch the ignition on I push the button and nothing happens for the first time I get the red light come on for the F1 um, I, I, um, but it, she doesn't turn over uh, I think the headlight came on then as well for some reason I switched it off tried it again and I think it started or it started soon after the, the third or fourth time that then became an intermittent fault that slowly got worse to the point that I'm crossing my fingers when I switch the thing on that it's going to start um, so about a year ago um, I've got a problem with the what's names these things one of these things whatever you call those turns out it's one of these it's, it's faulty and it's not she's not running very well so I take her to Kawasaki um, nearby well the, the, one of the closer ones nearby which is still quite a way away actually I happen to be in the area where there was on holiday and there, there was a Kawasaki um, dealership there uh, and my missus, my Thai missus, my ex-girlfriend at the time who was um, is, who's Thai um, translated for me to, to, to the staff so they then hooked this bike up through the lead on the side here to the ECU um, to find out what was going wrong and they, they located these things, these stick things, and said, yep, that's your problem, you need to replace them. We've got second-hand ones. I bought a couple second-hand, and she's running fine. But during that process of diagnosis, they hooked her up to the computer, their, their diagnostic computer, and the computer was sending back a number of faults from the throttle body, saying there's, a, there's an issue during startup with the throttle body. And they said you have to replace the throttle body. Um, that was about a year ago. But since then, the problem's been getting worse and worse and worse to the point that I've now got to do something about it. I can't rely on it to bloody well start. So I went to eBay and bought a second-hand throttle body, which is this bad boy here, with the original here. So I've taken this, this one off. That's the original. And replaced it with this guy here. Uh, when I replaced it, she started fine, but she was running bad. You know, she, I couldn't really open the throttle very well without her missing and stuff like that. There had to be some kind of a setup for it. So I thought, fuck it. If this is a problem that's software related, then this yoke here, this thing here, is the thing that needs is doing the, the damage, right? Because this is connecting to the throttle mo is a motor that opens and closes these guys during startup so what if I just take this off of here and put it onto this one because that thing is set up for the bike and it runs nice she runs great with that thing so I took that the one off this one which is this one here this is the original one I took that off here okay and put this one on there instead put it onto here I don't think she started or something it wasn't running right or something like that I forget exactly what happened now I've done it I've taken this thing off so many times now so I ended up basically putting the these two back together again so these the, these two are, 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 are back together again now this is the second hand unit both together that's the original one with the uh, motor apart now at the moment um, and she's not starting at all nothing happens so I'm starting to run out of ideas I'm, I'm so far away from bloody Kawasaki to get a diagnostic 
problem number one. Problem number two, the differences in language. Because my girlfriend now isn't Thai. She doesn't speak Thai, so I can't communicate like I used to. And the third problem is because it's Thailand, I get ripped off so much because I'm a Westerner. They try and write me up, rip me off. Even the dealerships, or the staff in the dealerships, bloody well try and rip me off. So I, I've got to be, I'm, I'm trying to find out as much about this as I can before I go there. And they then try and say to me, well, you need to replace the, you know, the engine or something. Because they, you know, they're just trying to get some money out of me. So I'm trying to understand what the fuck is going on. But of course, my, my, my knowledge of bikes isn't that great. I mean, I'm okay mechanically, generally, but I'm, I'm not an expert at all. I'm just looking at this thing and thinking, well, fuck it, I can replace that. Undo all the connectors, put them back on. Job's a good one. So that's what I did. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me show you then um, what happens when I, when, I, when I start her up. Okay, first of all, so ignition's on. I'll do that again. So let, let's have a look at the display first, okay? So that's that's the display, a normal, you know, sweep of the stuff from, uh, you know, from that from the display point of view. Okay, all these lights are normal and everything. Okay, do it again. And you've got the startup, this thing, shaking itself around the spot as well. I think that noise is slightly different to what it was before. It was much shorter than that before, before I took this bloody thing off. And it says in the manual you shouldn't take these things off because they've been set by the factory. But I haven't taken it apart. All I've done is literally just pulled it off the motor arm and put it back on again. So I'm hoping that that doesn't make any difference. But it might, of course. So, let's put the bloody thing on. Okay. She's in neutral. Okay. Clutch in. Push the start button. And it works like putting the camera. Okay, I'll just push the start button because it won't work anyway. Okay, so there's the start button. Kill switch is down. Push the button. And I get a click. I hold it in. I get a red light come on, the F1 light, and also when I depress the button, the start button, the headlight comes on, and she won't start. Before, before I did anything, I just, I just have to keep switching it on and off and pushing the button, and eventually it will start. Now it won't. Or try and start, shall we say. You can hear clearly the relay clicking. You know, so this it's got enough power. It's not the chassis hasn't got enough power, and the power's going to it's going it's going you know away from the battery towards the starter motor. But it's not the starter motor isn't kicking in. She doesn't think I'm trying to start her, right? So I've got a multimeter, as you um, kindly suggested. Okay, and I've checked the battery, she's running at 13 volts, right? So I've got her at 13 now. Well, 50's closer, maybe 10. I'll show you the two anyway. And if I hook her up to the battery, hook her up to the battery, I need another hand there. And let, wait a second, let me just um, put those two on one end. Okay, so, and you, we've got 13, just a smudge under now, actually. I think the battery's, before it said 13 exactly, I think. Oh, she's, a, she's 13 exactly, more or less. Just a splurge under 13. Okay. Which is enough. What's it, 12 and a half, 12.6 or something? Let's just try that lower, lower click. Too low. Okay, so... And, okay, so, and when I push the starter button, that needle doesn't change. If I had another hand, I'd show you. <laughs> but, um, I need another hand. My, my missus is away. She's, 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 she's teaching. Um, I'm off ill today. And so I'm taking this video now. But take it, take it, take my, I'll just do it now without the camera in my hand to check that I'm, that I'm right about what I say. Uh, but I can't show you the meter. Maybe I can put this on the meter. 